Mm, that's called Baby Batter and Harvey Mandel. And before that, Cherokee by Stephen Stills. This is Pig. <laughs> This is Harold Steele with news from the... All right, it's Leon Russell, Jumpin' Jack Flash. Before that, we heard the Beatles, Hello, Goodbye. Here's the weather for the greater Pittsburgh area. Sunny and cool today, we'll have a high of 38 degrees, fair and cold tonight with a low of 25. Warmer and cloudy tomorrow with a high of 45 degrees. It's currently 27 degrees in downtown Pittsburgh. The state of the air as of 10 o'clock this morning is 26. That's unsatisfactory, not cool, and also nasty. Exciting music is coming to Pittsburgh. Monday night, March 27th, it's Black Sabbath at the Civic Arena. On April 4th at the Syria Mosque, Buddy Miles and Deep Purple. And Melanie will appear at the mosque April 7th, along with Jackson Brown. All tickets at National Record Marts. Entertainment by Pat DeCesar. Capizio Factory Outlet, 315 Mount Lebanon Boulevard, across from the Lebanon shops, has fashion right footwear at the right price. Don't let the name Capizio Factory Outlet fool you. You'll get the right price on the newest and most fashionable footwear. Visit Capizio Factory Outlet Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. till 9 p.m. The people at Capizio welcome you to come in and browse in their casual atmosphere. There's no hassle, just the latest in women's footwear fashion. You'll be a step ahead with the latest fashions. Wedgies, platforms, colored suede, sport, casual, or dress. They're all at Capizio Factory Outlet, 315 Mount Lebanon Boulevard. If it's women's footwear and fashionable and interesting, chances are it's first at Capizio. And now visit Capizio's new outlet called the Shoe Zoo in the basement of the Plaza Buderie and East Liberty's Broad Street Mall. Remember, the first name in fashion footwear is Capizio Factory Outlet. Here's Alice Cooper. That's George Harris in All Things Must Pass. That's Carol King, back to California. Before that, we heard the birds eight miles high. Weather for the greater Pittsburgh area, sunny and cool this afternoon. We'll have a high of 42 degrees. Fair and cold tonight with a low of 25. Tomorrow, cloudy and warmer with a high of 48 degrees. It's currently 41 degrees in downtown Pittsburgh. Get ready for this week's Mind Stretchers from Soundwave, Listening Post, and Record Rama. These specials are good from now through Friday, March 31st. You don't need a $10 bill. Just $2.49 to score these $5.98 LPs. Harvest by Neil Young. Killer with Alice Cooper. Wings. American Pie, Flowers of Evil by Mountain, and the new Sly album. Get these two pocket LPs for only $4.98. Hot Rocks by the Rolling Stones and JC Superstar. They're at Listening Post on Walnut Street in Shadyside, Record Rama, Route 8 in Etna, and the Soundwave with three locations in the Great Southern, Southland, and West Hill shopping centers. And now here's something you don't need money for. Spend your Sunday afternoons at the Soundwave, open 12 till 7. Meet your friends or just hang around and catch the action. That's at Soundwave. But don't forget Listening Post and Record Rama. And get this, eight track tapes, $3.98, four for $12. And a special sale on king size water beds for only $29.95. Capizio Factory Outlet, 315 Mount Lebanon Boulevard, across from the Lebanon shops, has fashion right footwear at the right price. Don't let the name Capizio Factory Outlet fool you. You'll get the right price on the newest and most fashionable footwear. Visit Capizio Factory Outlet Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. till 9 p.m. The people at Capizio welcome you to come in and browse in their casual atmosphere. There's no hassle, just the latest in women's footwear fashion. You'll be a step ahead with the latest fashions. Wedgies, platforms, colored suede, sport, casual, or dress. They're all at Capizio Factory Outlet, 315 Mount Lebanon Boulevard. If it's women's footwear and fashionable and interesting, chances are it's first at Capizio. And now, visit Capizio's new outlet called the Shoe Zoo in the basement of the Plaza Buderie and East Liberty's Broad Street Mall. Remember, the first name in fashion footwear is Capizio Factory Outlet. Here's Jess. Simon and Garfunkel before that we heard Cold Blood and Yes on WDB. Song from the Allman Brothers. It's called Melissa from the 
Eat a Peach album. Nice kind of down thing compared to their usual hard rock. America before that did a horse with no name. Me, I'm the name with no voice, but give it a couple days, I suppose. This is WDVE, and this is the cat. Hey. <laughs> At 102.5, we're WDVE, Pittsburgh, the radio station. Fleetwood Mac and Station Man from the album Kiln House. For that Donovan, P. Leach did Mellow Yellow from Donovan's Greatest Hits and heard Jackson Brown, Doctor My Eyes from the Jackson Brown album. WDVE weather for the greater Pittsburgh area, partly cloudy and cold tonight, low of 28. Partly sunny and mild tomorrow with a high of 49, increasing cloudiness and a chance of snow flurries tomorrow night, <coughs> excuse me, low of 33. These frogs, I don't know. Wow, it's amazing. Was it 40 in Pittsburgh, something like that? The factory presents a new dimension in entertainment. Stop in and see Pittsburgh's greatest coffee house at 5750 Ellsworth Avenue in Shadyside. And while you're there, enjoy the fantastic sounds of such groups as Crab Shaw, Braun Vaughton, and others. And don't forget the fabulous food goodies like the famous factory hoagie, the world's weirdest omelets, five different kinds of coffee, kinds of coffee, ice cream delights, and even water. The Factory, 5750 Ellsworth Avenue in Shadyside. You'll find them open most nights from 8 till any time and Sundays at noon. This is traffic. That's Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven from Zozo before... In stereo. Paul and Linda McCartney, Denny Sewell and Denny Lane from the Wings Wildlife album. And before that, I guess you know the Iron Butterfly. This is the title song for Mad Men Across the Water, Elton John on WDVE. This is Mike Rich with news from American FM Radio. A bomb explosion tonight in Belfast reportedly killed at least one person. At least five other people were hurt. In Londonderry, Northern Ireland, there were services today for the 13 people killed by British troops in Londonderry Sunday. Some anti-British demonstrations broke out after those services. Thousands of demonstrators have burned the British Embassy in Dublin, Ireland. It was a protest against the killing of the 13 civilians in Londonderry. The British government is protesting the burning of its embassy in Dublin. The White House is criticizing a proposal by Senator Muskie for a U.S. withdrawal from Vietnam tied in with the release of war prisoners. The White House says it'll think about testing President Nixon's family assistance plan on an experimental basis. The family assistance plan involves a guaranteed annual income for the poor. The Coast Guard said tonight a U.S. tanker is missing off Galveston, Texas. 35 people were aborted aboard the tanker. This is news from American FM Radio, New York. What wine do you drink when you're eating good Italian food? Rufino Chianti? I'm not surprised. Rufino isn't only the best, it's the best-known, best-selling premium Chianti in America. And to prove it, you've got the next 30 seconds to name just one other Chianti. Go. Ten seconds are up. Having a little trouble? Maybe it's because Rufino Chianti was the only one worth remembering. So smooth it actually improved the taste of your favorite Italian foods. But keep thinking. Twenty seconds gone. Funny you can't remember the other Chiantis you've tasted. Time's up. If you can't remember any other Chianti but Rufino, why drink any other Chianti but Rufino? Imported from Italy by Shefflin and Company, New York. That bomb explosion tonight in Belfast wrecked a pub. The explosion came at the end of a day of street disorders in Belfast by demonstrators protesting the killings in Londonderry. British troops say they killed one gunman during the fighting in Belfast today. The BBC's David Miller watched the demonstrators burn the British embassy in Dublin today. Miller described how the attack on the embassy began. Two rockets, a big... 